Have you ever asked yourself why Muslims always lie about their false religion? I'm sure you have experienced it in your own conversations with Muslims. Today, you will understand why Muslims are allowed to lie about their faith and false prophet. So watch this video until the end. Don't forget to download it and share it on social media. In the following manual for the sacred Sharia law of Allah called Reliance of the Traveler on page 744 to 745, there's a chapter called Permissible Lying. Yes, halal lying, like eating halal meat. Muhammad said, he who settles disagreements between people to bring about good or says something commendable is not a liar. So if a Muslim is trying to convert you to Islam by lying to you, he is not considered a liar. In other words, if a Muslim deceives you and says, if you convert to Islam, you can drink wine, such a Muslim won't be punished under Sharia law for lying because he's doing a good thing for Islam. The Sharia is the final and deepest understanding and exegesis of the Quran and Sunnah of Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad said it's permissible to lie during war, settling disagreements and lying to your wife and she to you. This is an explicit statement that lying is sometimes permissible for a given interest. Imam al-Ghazali said speaking is a means to achieve objectives. If a praiseworthy aim is attainable through both telling the truth and lying, it is unlawful to accomplish through lying because there is no need for it. When it's possible to achieve such an aim by lying, but not by telling the truth, it is permissible to lie if attaining the goal is permissible. Now, don't forget, it's always permissible to bring people to Islam through da'wah to make Islam supreme. So lying for the good of Islam is halal. When the purpose of lying is to circumvent someone who is preventing one from doing something permissible and obligatory to lie if the goal is obligatory. To make it more clear, here is an Imam from Al-Azhar who is teaching Muslims how to lie to trick and deceive gullible people to convert them to Islam. And في واحد Muslim بجوار واحد يهودي. فالمسلم كان يرى من اليهود ده يعني شيء من الطيبة ولو كانت بسيطة فكان نفسه بأي طريقة أنه يبتكر طريقة خليه يسلم بها فرح كلمه وقال له يا فلان يعني أليس لك حاجة في الإسلام أنت ما نفسكش تسلم قال والله ما يمنعني من الإسلام إلا أني أحب شرب الخمر أنا فعلا نفسي أسلم من زمان بس أنا الحاجة الوحيدة اللي منعاني أن أنا مضم الخمر فالمسلم ابتكر له طريقة قال له خلاص أسلم واشرب الخمر براحتك طبعا المسلم مش قصده كده طبعا فقال له اسلم واشرب الخمر قال له خلاص ماشي فاليهودي قال اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وان محمدا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال له المسلم الان اصبحت مسلما فان شربت الخمر طبقنا عليك حد الخمر وان ارتدت عن دين الله قتلناك فثبت الرجل على دينه ولم يشرب الخمر ابدا بعد ذلك ودي كانت حيله جميله من هذا المسلم. This is Sharia. This is the Islam of their Satan who they call Allah. As you see, without lies, Islam dies. Please stay away from Islam.